Hello, this is Francis from Dose of Freedom and today we're gonna learn how to assemble the Mark IV V2 10 inch which is uh, the frame in Ukraine that we use for our kamikaze drone so let me remove everything from the package so basically we have four arms we have top plates also we have a bottom plate central plate some uh, support for the arm um, six different kind of screws that um, I put uh, from top to bottom in order of uh, length and otherwise you have some pieces for the camera and you have the pylons I don't know what it's called but I will call them the pylons so to start you take the base plate and you put the screws of the second row just like so After that, we're gonna move on to the arms of the frame. Just make sure that uh, the you see on the arm the two two holes for the, the screws uh, for the supports. Um, just make sure that they face um, inside and that they face each other's. So now we have our four legs installed on the bottom plate, just like so. So that's the central plate and I will take the four long screws uh, of the first row and those you have to uh, drill inside. And those are the only one that you won't be putting lock nut on it because that's uh, where we are going to put the uh, flight controller and speed controller so at the end it should be looking uh, sorry like I mean like that and then you, you start to drill inside Here we go, now the four are in place. You will place the central plate just like so on top of the bottom plate and the horns. So for all the screws we use lock nut um, because we don't want the vibration the screw to, un to unscrew due to vibration uh, but what I like to do is putting all the screws at the good place first and once I'm sure everything is fine I will unscrew one screw uh, by screw and then applying lock nut because if you apply lock nut and it's not the good screw you might and the lock nut is dry you might uh, end up stripping the stripping the screw so now we are uh, putting the screw in just like so um, I'm using those uh, screw here and I am drilling just like so having a little bit of trouble here sorry for the hat here ok 
okay and the last one It should look just like that. So now I will use Lagnat. I will start uh, just uh, like pulling out the screws one by one and then applying Lagnat to every single screw. You can dip the screw in the lock nut, you can put the lock nut in a bowl and dip it. But for me I like to just apply uh, the lock nut on the screw itself. And then you make sure everything is tight and perfect. just like so and then you put the screw back here in place So you do that for every screw except the four screws of the beginning that um, you put in the, the central plate. Now, so there are those uh, little pieces for support that you put under. Well, I mean now it looks like we put on top, um, but you secure th those little pieces in place and the screws you use the flat screws and then it's gonna uh, it's gonna be supporting the pilon we're gonna see after so you secure the pieces here it's uh, like a, a little under part for that that direction is uh, the, the front so put the four screws and then we are going to apply the pilon just screw the pilon inside and for this also you can put lock nut on the screw sorry for my head blocking the view here but basically yeah, you just put that right in place and it will be used to screw in um, the screws of the top plate. I'm a 
having a little bit of difficulty here so stay with me should look like this and I think there I'm gonna unscrew and put some lock nut there but honestly like you can put the screw in and then apply lock nut after but anyway like either way is fine for all of them not sure what I was doing I think it was tightening them uh, but yeah you want to apply lock nut on, on on all of them like I did for the first one and you can also apply lock nut uh, before screwing the pilon there as well so um, in, like in the center of the center plate there are those screws sticking out so you can uh, just screw the screw the pylons to them just like so Okay, so everything is tight and secure and it should look uh, just like so. Now let's put uh, the support on. So it will be like the tiniest little screws that we're gonna insert from the bottom and then screw them in place. Uh, those you can put lock nut if you want or I think if you will use the drones a, a lot of time you should be putting it uh, for us since the drone is only flying. Like few test flight and then one mission flight i don't personally think it's required but you do as you want For your drone, you can use whatever frame you want. For us in Ukraine, that's the one I like to use. 
it's perfect for the work that we are doing. Maybe someday we will change, however, now everything is fine, so there's no reason to, uh, to change it. However, however, for the droppers, um, we will use something different, something more uh, strong, strongly built. Okay, so basically now you installed the arm support and then the drone will be completed. So you will put uh, like the top plate and those are the pieces for the camera. So keep those in place and also top right corner you see the plastic bag with the screw so those screws are keep those screws because once the drawing is completed uh, those screws will go in the frame you will insert them on the top top uh, plate um, however don't sc those screws don't put lock nut because if you want to open the drone and work on it like it's gonna be a pain you're gonna strip all your your strips yeah ship all your uh, screws and stuff like that so that frame is uh, completed great work